Welcome to the Nightly Five podcast with Bell Taylor. A two-year-old boy and his father have been found dead in the state's north following a murder-suicide. The bodies of a toddler and 38-year-old man were found inside an East Lismore unit. New South Wales Health has distanced themselves from an internal email sent to staff that has praised a Lismore father who murdered his own son, two-year-old Rowan. The email was sent to New South Wales Health Clinical Excellence Commission staff on Wednesday by CEC Director of Information Management Andre Jenkins. In it, he praised the 38-year-old murderer James Harrison as being a wonderful colleague and beloved friend. Harrison murdered his two-year-old son during a planned custody visit and also killed himself. Mr Jenkins wrote, It is with indescribable sadness that I find myself letting you know that James Harrison and his son Roman died on Sunday. There are no words to adequately describe the loss of a wonderful colleague and beloved friend. There was no reference in the email to how the two died. New South Wales Health Minister Ryan Park immediately distanced himself from the email, describing it as being completely unacceptable and saying it does not reflect the views of New South Wales Health. It was revealed earlier this week that Dr Sophie Rome, the mother of Rowan and Harrison's ex-partner, had taken an apprehended violence order out against him last year but was still required to take her son for access visits. Dr Room's family released a statement on Wednesday saying their beloved Rowan was taken from them in the most unfathomable way. In the statement, they described Rowan as a beautiful, joyful and adored little boy. They said, He has so many amazing qualities and his short life was filled with rich and happy experiences. He loved music, the beach, swimming, his friends and his family. He touched the hearts of everyone lucky enough to be in his world. They described Harrison's actions as evil and cowardly.